What's up, cool people? I'm Matt Conroy. Welcome back to another Top 10 Music Countdown. This time around, I'm going to be covering my Top 10 last tracks. So, a little while ago, I did one on the first tracks. Uh, this one, I'm kind of doing the opposite end of that spectrum. So, again, if you were to go out and buy the entire album that this appears on, these songs would be the last numbered track in that list. Um, I didn't include any pure instrumentals, as some albums do, but really I kind of rated these somewhat based on how I think they kind of wrap up the album as a whole, and just kind of a, a little bit of the feel that they gave to it as well. Uh, a lot of these are going to be kind of, I don't know, inspirational in a sense, or maybe there'll be songs that seem like they're good for like they're describing someone who's kind of leaving or going away for a while or different things of that sort. We'll get more into it when I actually break down the songs individually. So uh, really the only other kind of rule in addition to that is my typical one song from each artist. So that's all I've got as far as explaining what's going on here. So here are my top 10 last tracks. The picture that's painted with the song Dear God is really one of like a husband who's about to leave home for a long business trip or something of that sort. And I think that kind of general feeling of leaving or going away for a while makes for a really good last track to an album because it feel like, it feels like it's giving closure like okay now it you're going to be the one leaving and acting this out so that's what gets dear god on the list It's Like Me is a song that's designed to be kind of both sad and inspiring at the same time. It's sad in that it grieves over lost loved ones, or at least people we care about, but it's kind of inspiring us and pushing us to talk to people about God, share the message of the gospel while we still can, before they pass on and we don't have any more chances. So then we can gain hope by the fact that we'll know they'll be in heaven for the rest of eternity. Whereabouts Unknown goes kind of counter to a lot of the other entries in this list that are trying to give more of an inspirational departing message sort of thing. This one instead kind of takes the approach of talking to somebody who has been out handling some sort of journey or big life choice or maybe even fighting in a war or something and saying, I really don't know where you are and what you're doing and I'm worried, please come back home because I want to know that you're safe. If Taylor Swift is the modern queen of breakup songs, then I would think Chris Daughtry is like the modern king of staying together songs. And this song kind of exemplifies that. And I think the approach that it takes of just trying to stay strong, even though the relationship is difficult and they're going through some hard times, I really like that theme. Rather than just splitting up, let's stick this out, let's stay strong, and let's stand together to work through these hard times. So the reason the song Arise makes it on this list I think should be pretty apparent by the audio clip you just heard there. Those are kind of the ending words of the song that say, Arise and be all that you dreamed. It's telling you to just keep going, don't give up. You know, it's one of those encouraging messages that you're meant to leave with and kind of be inspired to do whatever you've been holding back from or whatever has been 
you know, kind of a dream of yours. Don't turn away. Don't turn away. So I like the song Whisper in general, but really what gets it on this list, and especially in this placing on the list, is the ending of the song. It kind of just ends with this chant that continues on and on and sort of slowly fades out and I don't know I just like the sound of that as a way to end an album Honestly, the resistance is on this list mostly just because it's a rockin' song and I really like it, but it also kind of has that, you know, rise up and change the world <laughs> sort of vibe to it. Uh, my favorite part about the song, though, really is kind of at the very end. It almost has one of those, like, fake-out kind of endings where it makes you think it's over, but then it's not. And then it comes in with just this, like, epic guitar solo, and it's all kinds of awesome. And it's just a fun way to wrap up the album. So Inside Us All really kind of has a lot of nostalgia for me personally because Creed was my main introduction to rock music, but the reason Inside Us All makes it on this list is mostly because the positive message that it has kind of helping us realize that we can still be at peace with what's going on around us even if we're in really troubling times and helping us to find that peace within us, and I think that's a great way to wrap up an album. Cause life I feel almost like Life Starts Now could go directly after Inside Us All if they were on the same album. Uh, really, this one's kind of going past the whole Inside Us All trying to find peace during those troubling times and... It's looking past that. Now that we've gone through the trouble and we've made it, this is when life can really begin. It's inspiration for a fresh start, really. And that's what I think is so great about this song and what makes it a good way to wrap up the album. The End is there really a better way to wrap up an album or a countdown about wrapping up albums? But really, Without You is just a great song in general. It really digs into some of the struggles, as the entire album does, about dealing with someone who's ill, like terminally ill especially, and... I think for this specific album, it's a great way to just wrap it all up while still being related to the theme of that specific album. So that is what I think gets Without You at number one on this list. So that's going to do it for my top 10 last tracks. As always, make sure you like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell, check the notification box to get updates on all my latest videos and that kind of stuff. Uh, make sure you check the description for information on my social media pages and how to follow me there. Uh, leave some comments down below as well with your thoughts on this countdown or ideas that you have for others. Maybe give me your top 10 last tracks as well. Anyway, that's going to do it. Hope you're all doing well. Stay cool, people.